building in the Radio 4 studio. But first she went up to Radio 1 where she heard a performance from the script. And it's a great pleasure to say that with me now is Danny O'Donoghue and Mark Sheehan from the script. Good morning to you both. Very nice to meet you. Now, before I talk to you, sure. let's just remind ourselves of what it was you did for the Queen. <laughs> yeah, let's just yeah. play I'm a... Still don't pinch yourself. It it it's pinch yourself. Have, have a look at this. It's coming. It will. <laughs> this is her just uh, walking into the live lounge where you were waiting for her. Oh, well, let, Michael, just talk me through this. I, I mean, how nervous are you as she walks in the room? Is it uh, particularly nervous, to be honest, because uh, the one thing is seeing uh, her on telly all the time, and then suddenly you're actually five feet in front of the... the uh, and it's, it was a really bizarre moment. Um, well, it did happen, it did and happen. this is what happened. Just have a watch of this. OK. swim like the dolphins the dolphins can swim though nothing nothing will keep us together we can beat them forever and ever and be us just for one day Michael, Danny, I mean, she didn't get a lighter out and join in, but, I mean, as audiences go, how was it? <laughs> it, was, it was pretty intimidating. Um, you know, we've performed in front of thousands of people before, but it's really, it's strange, once you reduce that down to one or two people, it, your nerves really, really kind of go in, and um, I, got, I had the lyrics wrote down on my hand, because uh, we sang, obviously, David Bowie's Heroes. The reason why we chose the song was a very uplifting song and kind of taking the themes, you know, straight through from the, the Olympics. The Olympic also, spirit you know. was something that they wanted mm. to recreate here today in some way, so David Bowie was, uh, was a good choice. You were also asked to perform something she would recognise. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah like, I, don't know if yeah. The, I don't know if the screen's, ro you know, the Queen's rocking the script CD right now, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, uh, but at least, you know, a David Bowie song, I think, was, uh, was the closest to it. Now, you've, you've met some famous people in your time. Mm -hmm. Sure. You looked a bit phased. We really well, were. I, was phased, I, I, know, I think we were having the out of body experience of we a lifetime. Were, as we were standing there, you know, you get prepped uh, on how to, you know, you nod from the head down and you say, Your Highness, or sorry, Your Majesty. Uh, and then as soon as, you know, she put out her hand, um, I literally kind of stepped forward <laughs> and like, I didn't. I forgot everything, everything you're supposed to remember. Yeah, and, so yeah. it's, you know, but it was, it was amazing, you know, to, to kind of take that off. Uh, as something that I did before I died was, was absolutely amazing. Mm. How did it all happen? Why were you chosen? We, we don't know. We got asked about uh, three weeks ago to, as requested a royal family to come in and play. So we, uh, honest to God, hand on heart, I thought it was a joke. I thought people were playing a joke on us. <laughs> Still to this day, coming here today, I figured people were winding us up and yeah. I was waiting for somebody going to jump out and play a trick on us, but actually no. So. Now, she was here to open this building. It yeah. is a new building. Yeah. The, the late lounge, the, the, the lounge where you were playing, yeah, live lounge. Radio 1. I mean, what's it like to play in? It's, a, it's really nice. Um, that particular room itself, uh, you know, it's our first time playing up there. But it's, you know, it's no, no bigger and no smaller than anywhere else we've played. What I thought was really interesting about the performance was the fact that we had um, Indiana. You know, Indiana's from the BBC Fund. And the BBC Fund the is Academy, now, yeah. Yeah, the Academy. And, you know, it's an incredible thing that they're doing, which is putting... This is the BBC Introduces program. Exactly. Yes. Um, they, they, they basically put the, uh, unestablished artists with established artists. And I think it's really important. And, and you know, to know that not only the Queen supports that, but she came down to see a performance of it, I think that's going to really go a long way. Had you played with her before? 
No, no never. No. We, we literally rehearsed yesterday and sang today. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Will you be? We probably should have rehearsed more. <laughs> but it sounds a bit. No it job. sounded right to me. But <laughs> well, what did you make of the Queen's reaction to it? It was fantastic. You know, uh, she, she, we had to play a little bit softer. We were very conscious of the volume we usually play at. So everything had to go a little bit softer. Um, but she, she reacted really well. And then we, we actually got the chance to talk to her afterwards, and we, we, which was really strange for us, of course. It's a fantastic yeah. sense of humour. Yeah. Um, you know, we're talking about um, you know, one and day uh, Indiana might get to play Glastonbury. You know, we've, we've played already. And, and the Queen said, that's the place with all the mud, isn't it? <laughs> and they could have picked a better time of year. I was yeah. like, you know, you're going to have to bring your wellies next time down. But it was, it was great to know she has she amazing She should call the organisers and change Glastonbury's yeah. date. Everybody's been trying to think, how do we sort out the problem with the mud? Queen just figured it out. Yeah. Now I've got to let you go because you, you're recording the voice later. I, I head straight down to do the live shows tonight. Team Dan all the way. Um, and yeah, yeah. Okay, Michael, Danny, it's great to see you. Thank, Thank you both very, very much. much. Thank you. See you soon. Thank you. Well, it's been quite something on the balcony. We've had quite a few stars, and it was a bit of a shock a few moments ago to look up, and there was Sir Bruce Forsyth. This was him joining us a short time.